it's always been a really exciting moment for me personally as a music listener and I feel like whenever I meet someone or talk to someone it's kind of had this moment where they saw music as being like this thing and then something happened where they're suddenly like their their kind of awareness or consciousness of what music could be or or what what was even pleasant to them like the same way that your like taste would develop but you know suddenly you understand why you like Brussels sprouts now and you didn't when you were a kid it's like suddenly there's just this opening of like awareness of what it can be and to me that's a really exciting thing to watch We like to think about an alien band, what an alien band like, might sound like, especially if they were kind of catching snippets and sort of phrases of radio frequencies coming off the earth. So that's where the whole kind of radio thing started. I think a lot of the ideas that we're starting to filter into the writing process and sort of the sonic landscape of the record, the guys had sort of messed around with Mary Merriweather, but just using sort of radio sounds, thinking about the way that sort of our memories of, of especially radio we listened to when we were kids, kind of had that really kind of like frenetic, fast editing, like, you know, commercial station ID, song, like DJ, a lot of movement, um, and sort of how things could really like cut in and out. Radio is one way where all these sort of different styles of music or different cultures of music can clash, you know, in this common social environment. You know, we all like music from all around the world and, and have this idea of alien music. I still like to listen to radio. My brother even worked in radio for a lot of his life. I had like a lot of collections of Casey Kasem's Top 40 on vinyl when I was growing up that my brother would give me just that were from the radio station. So I used to listen to those all the time. <laughs> it feels more exciting to us if, if the, the, the inspirations are kind of a little more difficult to trace, I feel like. Um, that's not to say that they're ever like masked completely, I think that's kind of impossible, but um, I think it's, it's a fun challenge to try to hide where it's coming from so the thing feels a little bit more foreign or, or alien. I'll do a mix and send it around to the guys or Dave will make a mix and send it around to us and be like, here's some records. I've, since we don't live together, you know, it's like here's some things I found recently. And, thought you guys would like. And we have a lot of friends that do podcasts or, you know, put mixes they make up on SoundCloud. And, um, you know, we're not that engaged in social media, but it's actually the thing I'm most excited about, like on Facebook or, you know, we don't have a Twitter account, but I've actually considered even starting on some sometimes is just to point our fans in the direction of, of other people's music. People are expressing certain personalities, whether it's like a SoundCloud stream or or podcasts that people are doing. So you kind of put it on and you accept that you're going to listen to it all the way through or you're going to have it on for a certain period of time and that like a lot of things might change but you're not going to really know what they're going to be and that's very different from from you know downloading single songs. Some of our, our favorite bands, one of our favorite records, you know, we're sort, we were sort of steered to by, um, by this band Pavement who at the time were our favorite band. This was in like 94 or something and um, they we read an interview with them and it was one of those like band picks five or ten records that are their favorite things. You know, we were f 15, 14, 15 at the time, and, uh, you know, we had never heard of Can, we had never heard of Sun City Girls, we had never heard of um, the Thinking Fellers Union Local 282. Um, there was another interview where uh, they mentioned Incredible String Band or Swell Maps, you know, so, like, re reading those things, you know, then, like, the next thing you would do is you'd go to the record store and try and find the records by those bands, and obviously bands like Can or Sun City Girls, Singing Fellers, are huge influences on us. Pavement definitely uh, name-checked a lot of the stuff that they were into, and I got into a lot of groups like Sun City Girls and Stereo Lab, Echo and the Bunnymen, because of reading, re you know, reviews or interviews with them. Sun City Girls was a huge influence on on some of us in Animal Collective. They would just put out these. CDs that were just recordings of shortwave radio or, or FM radio in the countries that they traveled in. There was like very little track listings, you know, sort of just like, hey, one day we pressed record on a boombox and this is what we recorded and then they would release it. The pavement used to say like, well, we do this because our, like REM used to talk about um, Velvet Underground or something, you know, like it's just kind of part of a, it's cool to be part of that continuum, you know, and sort of just share things, you know. We, we, we didn't invent the wheel, you know, so, and there's no point in pretending like we did. I would meet fans or hear from people either like who would write us or who I'd actually just meet at a show or something. They would hear one song by us, 
from a mix that someone would give them or something like that. Um, and it'd be interesting enough that they'd want to go and like get more of our records, and then they would go to a show and they'd be confused by it, and they would not understand all the records. But the, for some reason, they kept wanting to listen, and then they would like, you know, want to read interviews with us, and they'd read the interviews, and in the interviews, we would talk about all these things that they'd never heard about before. And you know, to me, it's weird that people wouldn't have heard of like Can or um, Silver Apples or like know about early Pink Floyd or know about you know. But there's there's like this huge range of stuff that I guess that we listen to that. For some people, that's it's just stuff they've never been exposed to before. So basically, they kind of saw us as like this gateway, gateway band. Um, and to me, that's like a really, really awesome thing.